Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're creating a date range filter with the help of Chat Smart Filters plugin for Elementor. So first off, we need to hop to Smart Filters and click Add New. Let's give it a name. Here we give the filter label and the active filter label. In the next box, you select the filter type. You have the date range option in here and you choose this one. And now we get one more option here, filter by post date which will be the publication date of the specific post or the metadata that you pull out from the meta box. So before we continue, I will show you that I have created the post type. You go to Jet Engine Post Types. And here in the events post type, I've got the meta box that has the name date and the type date and there, in every single post in the settings, I type in the date manually. So, what I need here is the name slash ID of this meta box. In my case, it is date. So, I'll need to copy it, get back here where I was creating the filter, and paste the name of that meta box in the query settings as a query variable. If you choose if you choose filter by post date, you will not have to add anything to the query settings because it will pull out the date of the publication of the post. But in case with the metadata, you will need to insert the query variable. So now let's publish this filter. So now if I go to events and I open one of the posts that I've got in here. Now I scroll down, you see that I've added the date to the date meta box. Here it goes. What I need to do next is to go to Jet Engine Listings and click Add New and choose Events and then give it a name. So now I'm going to create the listing for the events post type. So we can later add a listing grid and then filter it using the date range filter. Here it is, this is how our listing is going to look. So it is the title and simply the date and nothing else. And I have saved all of the changes. And then what I need to do is to go to, is to go and create a listing grid. So here I'll search for the listing grid widget and drop it onto a new section. In the listing option, I'll select the listing for date range filter that I have created for this tutorial and it pulls out the posts in the grid. I'm not going to change anything here, I'll leave it just as it is. And here in the elements panel I search for the date range filter widget and I'll drop it in the same section with the grid. In the select filter drop down I'll choose the needed filter and in the this filter for drop down I'll choose jet engine. And all the other settings I leave as is, and um, I'll just click update so it saves all of the changes. And to test this date filter out, I'll go to the preview. So now I can try typing in the numbers. We've got here posts from the November 5th to November 21st. So I suggest we filter this from November 1st to November 15th. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this one, this one, and this one. So let's click apply. And here we go. Now we only have the posts that fall into that range from November 1st to November 15th. All right, here we go. Now you know how to create a date range filter with the help of JetSmart Filters plugin. For Elementor. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.